Before any trialling or marking takes place, a test pit is dug. Behind me is test pit number 63. And Jake Pickering, a trainee archaeologist, will tell us why this happens. Hello, I'm Jake Pickering, an archaeologist trainee from Ashton High School. And basically what we're doing at the minute is digging test pit 63. We do test pit due to the fact that if we just made a large trench and if there's no archaeology actually in the trench we've just met, waste, wasted our time so basically it's just a sample we're digging test pit 63 to see if the burke mounds from trench 6 actually follow on in this direction to continue the actual expansion from trench 6 we have found this stone which is actually what we think could be part of a wall or anything like that and we'll to see what it actually is because we're not fully sure we might have to actually expand it all the way down here and it could even go up over the fence we record these by by two ways photography and drawing as you can see our technical drawing here we have the stone here we also have clay from upstream and from uphill. So this is how a test pit looks and what a test pit is actually for. Yeah, it's attached. So obviously be careful in it with the trial yeah. and scratch it. In it does have pre out two marks on it. We think this thing here is a large, well, obviously a large bit of wood. I think that it's planked. It's been taken off the side of a tree relatively crudely split inside of it on this side we've got a couple of these fire cracked stones um, which we only really get from the burnt mound and so we've got burnt stones sort of inside this feature whatever it is um, and it's lying right on top of the peat which means that it's probably sort of early bronze age late neolithic in date.